their explanation, it's a ghost. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 creepiest things caught on security cameras. And some of what we found is so controversial, it's not surprising it's been kept quiet. For this list, we'll be looking at freaky and unsettling images that have been caught on security cameras, whether public or private. What's the creepiest thing that you've ever seen? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20, Kanika Jenkins. In a series of disturbing videos, 19-year-old Kanika Jenkins can be seen stumbling down various hallways and bumping into walls and railings. Jenkins eventually makes her way into the kitchen, and it's here that she would die. This footage was filmed inside the Crown Plaza Chicago O'Hare Hotel where Jenkins was attending a party. Jenkins left the get-together in the early morning hours of September 9, 2017 and was later reported missing. Her body was found inside the kitchen's walk-in freezer on Sunday, September 10th. She's trying to find her way and no one from Crown Plaza Hotel responds to her. The death was ruled an accident, with the effects of alcohol and a drug called topiramate worsening the effects of hypothermia and leading to her passing. Number 19, pushed by a shadow. We've all heard of shadow figures. Maybe you've seen one in your lifetime, but these are generally harmless things seen out of the corner of an eye. But what if a shadow figure decided to get dangerous? In this video, a boy emerges from a door holding what appears to be an ice pack to his head. After rubbing his feet on the mat, he's seemingly pushed from behind by a shadow. The boy immediately reacts and goes to the door to investigate, holding the spot on his back where he was pushed. Even if this is a fake, it's still very well made and suitably effective at giving us the creeps. Number 18, Video Store Ghost. Even ghosts love the blockbuster experience, or should we say, loved. This classic video shows an employee at a Mexico blockbuster stocking shelves when he experiences some paranormal activity. The man is putting DVDs on the shelf when his cart moves and is pushed with enough force to knock over some of the videos. Following this, numerous DVDs begin falling off the shelves, causing the frightened employee to bail. We don't blame him one bit. This video amassed over 1 million views on YouTube, proving that good paranormal footage is a thing of intense interest to many. Number 17, Samantha Koenig. It was February 1st, 2012, and 18-year-old Samantha Koning was working at a coffee shop in Anchorage, Alaska. Unfortunately, Koning was targeted by serial killer Israel Keys, and her kidnapping was filmed by the store's security cameras. Keys approaches the quiet stand and pulls out a gun, causing Koning to react in fear. She then turns out the lights and talks with Keys before he climbs through the window and ties her up. Keys then leads Koning outside and takes her to his vehicle. This is the last time that Koning was seen alive, as she was taken to Key's home and killed. Number 16, Lars Matank. A man in a yellow shirt walks into an airport carrying a bag. Moments later, he's seen running out of the building without the bag. Taken on its own, the footage of Lars Matank isn't that scary. After all, people run through airports all the time, but it's the context that matters. Matank was vacationing in Bulgaria when he suffered an injury to his ear. He began acting very strangely, seemingly hiding from unseen people, and even calling his mother to tell her that he was being followed. He consulted the airport's doctor, but ran from his office and out of the building, where he proceeded towards some nearby woods. Matank was never seen again, and the reason for his behavior is still unexplained. Number 15, The Hernandez Ghost. Brianna Hernandez and her husband received the scare of their lives on the night of August 22nd, 2017. My husband happened to look over right when, um, right when I guess the image came up. The couple was enjoying their dinner when Hernandez's husband noticed something creepy on the home security camera. This footage was released to the public, and it shows what looks like a white ghostly figure walking past the property. This is what they saw during dinner last night. It looks like a person and in otherworldly form. The figure has a very clear gait, with what looks like either moving legs or swinging arms. The event remains unexplained, but it was enough to capture the attention of the media who proceeded to interview Hernandez. She posits that it was a ghost. What do you think? Number 14, the Hotel Shadow. Hotels are notorious for being haunted. It's hard to say why, but it probably has something to do with the volume of visitors and the potentially high death rate that results. This CCTV footage shows an empty hotel hallway with what looks like a cleaning cart sitting in front of a doorway or elevator. Out of nowhere, a shadow figure appears from the doorway and hits the cart before darting back out of view. The incident is over before you know it, but it certainly leaves an impression. It's hard to say what this is, but we do know one thing, it is incredibly eerie. Number 13, 
the Queensland Stalker. Captured in March of 2016, this terrifying footage shows a stalker creeping outside of a woman's house in Brisbane, Australia. The man lurked around the house for about 20 minutes and acted in a very peculiar manner. At one point, he kneels behind a trailer to avoid the headlights of a passing car and proceeds to crawl around on all fours. His movements are reminiscent of Gollum from Lord of the Rings, and the visual is enough to make blood run cold. They're thieves. They're thieves. They're filthy little thieves. It's presumed that the man was attempting to look into the woman's window without being seen. He eventually walks away without incident and was never caught or identified. Number 12. James Bolger They're some of the most infamous photos in British true crime. A boy wearing a brown jacket holds the hand of a much younger child and leads him through a busy shopping mall. The taller boy is John Venables, who's holding the hand of James Bolger. James was being led away by uh, two young boys. Immediately then, it confirmed the witness that who'd stated earlier that there were two boys on the canal bank. It then became very worrying. Venables and his friend Robert Thompson were actively abducting Bolger from the mall. Unfortunately, this was the last time that Bolger was seen alive. The boys took Bolger to a railway station and killed him, and his body was found two days later. Venables and Thompson became some of the country's youngest convicted murderers and were given an indefinite sentence. They were both paroled after just eight years when they turned 18. Number 11. The Pit Ghost 34-year-old Amanda Pitt was sleeping in her Pennsylvania home when she heard footsteps walking throughout the house. She initially thought that it was one of her children, but found them all snug in their beds. Frightened, she decided to check the home's security cameras. Pitt then received the shock of her life when she saw what appeared to be a human form standing in the door of her kitchen. She woke her husband, and he went to investigate, but found nothing out of the ordinary. However, the family dog was in the area and was anxiously pacing back and forth. Pitt told the media that it wasn't the first spooky incident to have occurred inside the house. Number 10. Clowns Clowns are mostly associated with birthday parties and the circus, but in recent years people have been sullying the profession through creepy acts like, well, this. In Jacksonville, Florida, various clowns were caught on security cameras terrorizing private homes. In one video, a clown simply stands near the porch and stares into the camera. In the other, more popular video, a clown goes onto a porch, rips apart a pumpkin while staring directly into the camera, and then leaves, with the pumpkin pulp an eerie reminder of its presence. It's said that these clowns were friends of the homeowners and were simply pranking them before Halloween, but still, that's not something you want to wake up to. It's a scene straight from a horror movie, but it's right here in Jacksonville. Number 9. Face in the Doorbell Receiving doorbell notifications at 4 in the morning is never a good sign. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Reddit user Fat and Depressed received numerous doorbell notifications on their cell phone spanning from before midnight to after 4 a.m. They initially ignored it, believing it to be nothing more than stray dogs or passing pedestrians on the sidewalk. But when they finally checked, they were met with one of the most terrifying sights on the internet. That of a person staring directly into their doorbell camera, a slight smile on their face, and their hands casually placed behind their back. It's like something out of The Purge, and it really gets the imagination going. Please just let us purge. Fortunately, the owner of the house confirmed that they were not harmed, just incredibly spooked. Number 8. Cruise Ship While modern cruise ships make for luxurious travel, the open sea is a fickle and dangerous thing. And unfortunately, everyone on this cruise learned that fact in the scariest way possible. The ship was on the open ocean near New Zealand when it encountered a violent storm that sent enormous waves pounding against the hull. On one of the ship's security cameras, people, tables, and chairs can be seen careening around the room as the ship lists in the storm. It makes for unnerving viewing, appearing like a scene out of Titanic. The storm left 42 people injured, and customers were offered a 25% discount on their next cruise as compensation. Number 7. Barnsley Antique Center Located in South Yorkshire, England, Barnsley Antique Center is a very popular shop, and for more reasons than one. It's caught the attention of paranormal enthusiasts, owing to its supposedly relentless supernatural activity. Back in 2016, a Bambi rocking horse was caught on camera rocking by itself and flying off the shelf. The previous year, a heavy lamp was caught being pushed off a table by an unseen force. But that's not all. A glass cabinet shattered for no apparent reason, pictures have fallen off shelves, 
and a book once tumbled off the aforementioned glass cabinet, startling an unsuspecting employee. The store uploads its creepy CCTV footage on its eponymous YouTube channel, and it has helped make the shop both a sensation and a popular tourist destination. Number 6. Missy Beaver's Killer on the morning of April 18th, 2016, Dallas area fitness instructor Missy Beavers was killed by an unidentified person while preparing a class in a local church. The murder of the 45-year-old mother of three left this small community of Midlothian just outside Dallas stunned. Beavers was found murdered inside the Creekside Church of Christ that sits along a rural Texas highway. The crime tragically remains unsolved, and that's made all the more aggravating owing to the clear video evidence of the killer. Various security cameras captured a suspicious vehicle driving in the area shortly before Beaver's murder. The vehicle caught in multiple angles by the store's cameras. But even creepier is the killer themselves. The suspect can be seen clad in police riot gear and casually roaming the empty halls of the church, opening various doors and wielding what appears to be a hammer. Number five, don't take donuts from strangers. In October of 2017, mother Rochelle Haig experienced one of the scariest things that a parent can encounter. As captured in a video she later shared, a white van approached her three children who were playing outside on a trampoline. Haig reportedly heard the driver asking the kids if they wanted some donuts. She initially thought it was a friendly neighbor and wasn't too alarmed. However, her eldest daughter, who can be seen running from the stranger on the CCTV footage, came bursting into the house and informed her mother of the situation. Haig confronted the man from afar, who reiterated the donut story before driving away. The incident was reported to the police, and Haig uploaded the creepy footage to Facebook. Number four, the store standoff. As captured on surveillance video on June 17, 2013, a wanted felon named Sammy Wallace strolled into an Oklahoma City store and snatched a young girl out of her mother's cart. He then held the young girl at knife point and gave her mother a cell phone, demanding that she call a specific police officer. He proceeded to hold the girl hostage for a half an hour, and witnesses claim that he was rambling about the Illuminati. Really, you don't know if this guy is just just losing it was he uh, you know tweaking on something you just didn't know and uh, the more he kept saying and repeating himself and the more the scene kept elevating uh, you, you knew there was something definitely not right he spoke with a hostage negotiator with the child on his lap the knife held to her stomach when he brought the knife up to her throat however he was immediately shot but i can tell you that our officers did everything exactly right they exhausted all means to bring this to a peaceful, peaceful conclusion. The little girl was unharmed. There's a good ending to this story, and that is my daughter has her life, and I'm very thankful for that. Number three, the Erickson twins. The first glimpse of this incredible story is from a CCTV camera. Swedish twin sisters Ursula and Sabina Erickson were traveling the UK when their odd behavior got them kicked off a bus. They soon made their way onto the meridian strip of a busy freeway where they were captured on CCTV. The twins proceeded to run into oncoming traffic and were repeatedly struck by speeding cars. As one highway worker stays with the sisters, his colleague tries to tell the police what's happened. But then, all hell breaks loose. Ursula was seriously injured in the ordeal and Sabina attacked an officer after regaining consciousness. She was taken into custody, but attacked a man after being released from court, leading to five years imprisonment. The last thing I saw was uh, run across the roundabout, followed by two paramedics. Just thought, well, my job's done now. It's up to the professionals. No drugs or alcohol were reported in the original bizarre incident, and it was eventually chalked up to a rare phenomenon known as shared psychosis in which two people share a psychotic episode. I don't think she knew anything that had gone on. She either didn't care or couldn't remember. I can't understand how somebody appears so comfortable in that situation, because I would be bricking it. Number two, watching you sleep. There are few things scarier than an intruder breaking into your house and watching you sleep. Unfortunately, Chicago couple Jack McKercher and Jordan Baranskis know that from first-hand experience. The suspect entered their home through an unlocked door and stood at the top of the stairs, silently watching over the couple who had fallen asleep on the couch. Luckily, the couple were not hurt, though Jordan's purse was stolen. 
Curious about the missing purse, Jordan and Jack consulted the home's security camera hoping to get answers. And that's when they saw the lurker standing at the top of the stairs. They believe he walked up several flights of the building's back stairwell and entered through an unlocked sliding door that leads to the master bedroom. This is like something out of an urban legend, and it is every bit as terrifying. I like to think that he was watching the TV, not us. That's like slightly more comforting in this sort of disgusting circumstances. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number one, Alisa Lamb. Something's weird here. Is there some type of cover up? within the Cecil Hotel. What's going on here? Lamb was a college student staying at Los Angeles' infamous Cecil Hotel when she went missing. CCTV elevator footage showed Lamb acting in an unsettling manner shortly before her death. She can be seen hiding inside the elevator, peeking around the corner, continuously entering and exiting the elevator, and speaking to someone in the hallway. Two weeks after she was reported missing, Lamb's body was found in one of the hotel's water tanks. The leading theory is that Lamb stopped taking her medication, leading to a psychotic episode. She then likely accessed the roof via a fire escape and climbed into one of the open tanks. In my mind, there are some questions that I think need to be answered before you can really determine that this is a accidental drowning. Among those questions, how Lamb ended up inside the tank without her clothes on. Doors and stairs leading to the hotel's roof were locked, with only staff having the passcodes and keys. Her death was one of the most shocking and captivating news stories of the 2010s. The door closes, and she's never seen again. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.